so cool. Oh, something else that we are watching. We often talk about El Nino and La Nina. So this past winter, we were in an El Nino, the first time that's happened in over three years. Now that is going to now transition. So the average sea surface temperature right along the equator, that is now uh, cooling. And because it's cooling, we're actually in what's called a neutral state, but that is expected to shift. Currently in neutral conditions, but it's already trending cooler, those waters along the equator. So what that means is, you know, neutral conditions, they're not going to last long and a La Nina is expected to develop anytime between now and November. Remember I said this past winter we had an El Nino. Well, last uh, this is expected to last by the way through January and March of uh, 2025. That means this could impact our fall and our our uh, winter situation. So La Nina, that's the cooling of water along the equatorial Pacific. So why this is important is because it does impact global weather patterns, including us here in North Texas. So the cooling of the Pacific affects the location of that jet stream. That jet stream keeps uh, moving north whenever we're under this type of pattern and that keeps storms away from Texas and it also keeps cooler air away from Texas. So we are looking at this possibly happening here in the next few months. Uh, we'll talk in the next hour about what that means for the next few months. Mark. All right, Mark.